I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. Hello, my name is Gary Kurtz. I'm Curator of Special Collections for the California State Library, and I've been in that position for over 30 years, and it's such a great privilege to work with these stunningly beautiful and wonderful collections here that have so many stories behind them. But this is a particularly important year for the California State Library in that it is our 160th anniversary as an institution, which makes us one of the oldest governmental libraries in the far west, and indeed one of the oldest learning centers in the far west. So we're very proud of that fact. But when you have to think of what California was like in 1849 when the first library books were given to us, it's quite remarkable that California was such a wild, rambunctious, anything goes place. Jim Holliday, the famous historian, said it was a place where no one said no. And when you think of what the legislature was like, who it was composed of, these were rough hewn miners, some of them well established businessmen coming from all points of the globe. Chances are they were in their red or blue miners' garb, being December was a muddy time. It rained so much in that December of 1849 that there's a story that up in San Francisco on a notorious quagmire on Pacific Street, a hat was seen floating down the street. They came out, they lifted up a hat, and there was a man underneath. And he said, gentlemen, could you please help me get my horse out of here? A boy drowned in the streets of San Jose. So this was a rambunctious, wild place. So Stevenson gave these letters with his might to establish this uh, library for this new maverick government of California. And two days later, a gentleman by the name of Thomas Jefferson Green donated some more books. And he is a rather flamboyant character. He came here with gold fever. He's the first elected senator from the Sacramento region. And he is also a general in the army of the Texas Republic. And he was the one after the Battle of San Jacinto, and that's how Texicans pronounce the name. He was in charge of General Santa Ana after he surrendered to Sam Houston and his uh, colleagues. So a very important guy. He was actually a, in the legislature in Florida. And he presented some more books. But if you know your California history, the first legislature was called the Legislature of a Thousand Drinks. And it was because of Mr. Green. According to Liza Orms Crosby, who was the recorder there at that uh, first legislature, he said that to Mr. Green, everything was a frolic. And what had happened was that Mr. Green would say after the men had made their laws during the day, after their hard work doing the legislative work, he would say, come over, boys, come over to my place and let's have a thousand drinks. And he would say that every day. And that is how our first legislature has that wonderful sobriquet of the legislature of a thousand drinks. Crosby also added that he was chairman of the state finance committee and could not have been a worse financial administrator possible. But nonetheless, he was a generous donor to the state library. So with these two great donations, the legislature and the sergeant of arms of the Senate was authorized to procure a bookcase to house the State Library. And then, on January 19th, John Charles Fremont, the famous explorer known as the Pathfinder, the son-in-law of the famous Missouri Senator Thomas Hart Benton, and the spouse of Jesse Benton Fremont, donated 100 volumes to this new State Library. However, Mr. Fremont himself could not make it to San Jose. He was up, tied up in business affairs in his uh, Mariposa ranch, so he asked his friend John Bidwell, better known as the Prince of the Pioneers, to come over to his ranch, load up these books in a wagon, and bring them down to San Jose to help form the State Library. So with these three donations, this trinity of great pioneers, the legislature on January 24th, 1850, passed the law to formally establish the California State Library. 
And I think it's quite extraordinary or a wonderful coincidence that that date is two years to the day that James Marshall discovered gold. So I'd like to say that on January 24th, 1848, James Marshall discovered gold at Cloma. And on January 24th, 1850, California discovered the gold of the mind with the establishment of the California State Library. That's my story.